I want to show you a nifty way that we can use CSS variables to easily create various shades of a particular color. This is my starting file. It's a very simple page. The bulk of my page is for articles and each has its own unique class of a and then a number. And I've put text inside so that we can know what sort of color is showing. In the CSS, I have some basic variables that I'm using throughout my page. You'll notice that I only have one color variable and currently it's set to a hex value. This is the teal color that I'm using on my H1. I am using several of the variables to style the page. And the main thing that I want to draw your attention to is under main, I'm using a display of flex. I've set the gap to use our variable of spacer and my articles all have width and height values of 160, some padding, border, border radius, font weight, and text align center. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the background color on the articles. So currently if I come in here and I set the background color and we use our variable of primary color, you will see that when I refresh the page, all of the boxes are going to fill with that particular shade of the color. Now what we want to do here is we want to create various lightness values and darker values of this particular shade. I'm going to go ahead and change my hex value to an HSL value. I've already specified here what the hue, saturation, and lightness values are for this particular shade. So instead of using a hex value, if we just plug in HSL and we enter these particular values and we save, you'll see that our page does not change at all. So this is the exact same color, it's just being represented using HSL instead of hex values. When we're working with HSL, H stands for hue, S stands for saturation, and L stands for lightness. Knowing this can be very helpful for us because we can actually break this down into several values and then we can uniquely change each of these. And I'm just going to show you how we can adjust lightness, but you could use the same technique to actually control hue, saturation, and or lightness. What we'll do is we'll create a new variable and we're just going to call this one color. I'm going to set this equal to the first two values of our HSL, so hue and saturation. So my first value is going to be 181 and the second value is going to be 88%. It is worth mentioning that I need to make sure that there's a comma in between these two values because this is how it would be entered inside of the HSL function. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another variable and this is going to be specifically for lightness. So we're just going to go ahead and assign our lightness value here. Now that we have these in place, I can go ahead and I can make a new color for my primary shade. So instead of calling this primary color, since we're already using that, I'm just going to call this variable main color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this equal to HSL and inside the parentheses, I'll go ahead and specify that the values are going to be generated or brought in from my variables. So the HS values are being brought in from our color and we already have the comma in there, so we don't need to worry about it. I'll go ahead and pass in a comma once I close the parentheses for that variable. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my next variable, which is my lightness variable. Now that I have this set up, I'm going to just go into the areas where I'm using my primary color, and we're going to replace this with our main color. So I'll do this for my H1 and for the background color on our articles. If we go ahead and refresh our page, you're going to see that there is no change. So it works in the exact same way. But now that I have this, I have the ability to very easily create new variables based on this or even augment different variables. What I'll do here is I'll go ahead and I'll make a new variable and we're just going to call this main color lighter. For the value, we're going to use HSL once again and I will go ahead and pass in for the hue saturation, my variable for color, just like we did before. Now that we have the HS values, we're going to have a comma and then we'll go ahead and we'll enter in 
our value for the lightness. Now in order to do this, I'm going to use the calc function so that I can perform some math. So I'll open my calc function, put the parentheses, we're going to pass in our lightness variable. And then after we close the parentheses on the lightness variable, we're going to use plus and then I'll write 20%. Now that I have this in place, I'm going to use the main color lighter variable that we just created on my second article. So I'll come down to the bottom right here. We'll use a selector of article dot A2. And then I'm going to specify that the background color uses my variable that we just made, main color lighter. And that should be all I need to do. If I save this now and we come back to our page and we refresh, you'll notice how this second article is now lighter. So let's do the same thing on these two, but let's make darker versions of the color. I'm going to use the same sort of configuration, but instead of adding to the lightness value, we're going to subtract from the lightness value. So we'll make one called darker and we'll go ahead and subtract 10% and then we'll make one more. We'll call this one darkest and we'll subtract 20%. So if we look at the current value is 31%, if I subtract 20%, then I'm gonna end up with 11% for the lightness value. If we now come down and create rules for articles three and four, we'll just update the variable names. So this first one is going to be darker and this next one is going to be darkest. If we save now and we refresh, you'll notice that we have varying shades of this particular color. This technique works really well and it's very easy to make adjustments to the colors by simply passing in the calc function and then you can get lighter and darker versions of the same shade. Now for this example, I just showed you how to do this on lightness. But technically, you could use this same technique and you could actually break out all of the hue, saturation, and lightness values. So you could adjust the hue dynamically in this way or the saturation, and that would give you different hues or saturated versions of the colors. For this example, I simply adjusted the lightness, but I've used this quite a bit and I find it to be extremely helpful when working with CSS variables.